Today I got a brand new Acer Aspire 5. I'm going to upgrade the M.2 SSD to a much larger capacity than do a clean install of Windows 11 with no Microsoft account. I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new Acer Aspire 5 laptop. Uh, I literally just took it out of the box. I'm going to upgrade it. It comes with um, it's Core i3 11th Gen. It's only got 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD NVMe drive and it comes with 4 gigabytes of onboard memory. And I'm going to upgrade the RAM and I'm going to put a much larger capacity SSD in it. I'm going to use the Samsung SSD 980. I've been using a lot of these lately. I like these drives. They're good. They're fast. Here's the drive right here. I'm going to pop that in there along with 4 more gigabytes of DDR4. And then I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 11 with no Microsoft account. A little trick I do, I'll show you how to bypass setting up that Microsoft account. So, I haven't even turned it on yet. I'm just going to close it up. I have taken all the screws out already, guys. They're all the same length. So, it doesn't matter which hole goes where uh, or which screw goes back in which hole. So, I'm just going to start out by got to get the bottom cover off. I'm going to use my little trusty spudger tool here. I'm going to start it corner broke loose back here these are pretty stiff but if you start in a corner typically you have pretty good luck start popping it loose and always protect yourself from static electricity before you go inside your laptop I'm all protected here with my bench tops and my floors all being very anti-static so there, it lifted right off. Didn't take too much. Sometimes they're a little stubborn though. So here's what we got. Here's our little 128 SSD NVMe drive I'm gonna take out to put in the one terabyte. Uh, if you wanna disconnect your battery, you can. It's right here. You just slide the plug back towards the battery to remove it. I'm just gonna be very careful. Don't touch anything you don't have to, guys. And here's our empty RAM slot over here. Now, what I like about these Aspire 5s um, they come with a two and a half inch bay and everything you need to add a two and a half inch hard drive or a SATA SSD, preferably an SSD. But um, the cable, the caddy, it's all included right here in uh, four mounting screws to put the drive in the caddy. Those come right inside the box. So that's kind of nice. I'm not going to do that today, but it does have that capability. If you want to just leave that, the 128, and put an extra drive, you can certainly do that. So I'm going to first thing just get rid of this little guy here. One, I'm using a number zero Phillips screwdriver. A number one Phillips works good to get that screws off the bottom there. By the way, so get rid of Mr. 128 there. And put in our Samsung SSD 980. Like I said, I'm just being very careful not to touch anything I don't need to touch. Should be a quick little upgrade. And I'm going to pop in four gigs of DDR4, give it a total of eight. Like I said, there's four gigabytes on board with the one slot. So we're going to utilize that. Make sure your clips go in good, which they did. Now I'm just going to, if you unhook your battery, make sure you remember to hook the battery back up. Um, we're, we're good to go. Now, I'm not going to put all the screws back in the bottom just yet. I always wait to the very end to do that. Because more often than not, I have to open it back up because something went wrong. Or you had a bad stick of RAM or something. So, I am going to plug in my AC adapter, though, because like I said, I just took this out of the box. <clears throat> so, I don't know what's up with the battery. Yeah, let me just get this hooked up here, guys. I got a... I got a flash drive that I'm going to be booting off of with Windows 11 on it. You can easily create one using the Windows Media Creation Tool. I'll have a link down below where you can watch a video I made on how to make one of those for Windows 10 or Windows 11. doesn't matter. So we don't need that. I am going to need all my little goodies here so I get to that in a minute. So let me put in my Windows 11 USB bootable drive here do a port and turn it on see what happens now it might take a minute to post 
because of the new RAM that I put in there, along with the SSD, of course, but just got to kind of be patient here. It's on. Just waiting for a post screen here. I know it's kind of hard to see, guys, but just want to get this going. There we go. Got Acer. I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, guys. I haven't felt very well. I've been under the weather the last couple of weeks with a bad cold, coughing and sneezing and sniffling. It's been quite annoying, actually. So I didn't want to be doing videos hacking away, but I'm feeling better now, so I'm gonna try to start doing some videos. I'm gonna need my mouse here for a minute. These are very annoying. On these Windows 11 with these 11th Gen i3s, there's some little tricks you gotta, oops. I'm just plugging my mouse here. Bear with me. Got two USB ports over here as well. All three counting the C. So I'm just gonna click on next. Again, this is Windows 11. I'm gonna hit install now. And we're gonna have to load the RST Rapid Store drivers. I'm gonna need my adapter here. I'll show you what I mean, because it's not gonna detect that drive. See, there's, doesn't see us. We gotta load, I gotta load some drivers here. I'm just gonna use my trusty little adapter. Get it in the C port here. And I'm going to go to load driver. I'm going to go to browse. I got it here. It's called, that's just what I named the drive. <laughs> 11th gen. Boom, boom. I'm going to hit OK. Here's our Intel RST driver. Just hit next. I'm loading it off my flash drive here because it's not included on the Windows 11 when you create it with the media creation tool, on, even on the 10th gen. With 21H1 and 21H2. Earlier, you don't have a problem. So there, now see I found our one terabyte drive. So I'm just gonna hit next. We don't need that anymore. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why Microsoft does that, but that's, what the, that's just what they do. So I'm gonna get this install going here, guys. And then I'll show you how to bypass setting up a Microsoft account when you're doing a clean install of Windows 11. It's pretty simple. Eventually, they're probably going to fix it, so you can't do this little trick no more, but maybe not. We'll find out. I'm just going to let this go. When we get to the right spot, um, I'll come back and we'll finish it up. All right, guys. After it reboots the first time, you can go ahead and pop out your flash drive. You don't need that no more. But yeah, those RST drivers aren't included in the Windows on the flash drive when you create that with the media creation tool. It's quite annoying, but there's a will, there's a way. So we're going to make this better. Again, I only have 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gig SSD. Now we're going to have a 1 terabyte. NVMe SSD, a nice Samsung, and eight gigabytes of DDR4. Almost there. I apologize if I sniff, sorry guys. All right, we're getting to the fun part. I'm going to choose United States. <clears throat> U.S. keyboard layout. I'm going to skip additional layouts, just like in Windows 10. Now they're looking for some, some internet. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to, instead of doing Wi-Fi, I'm just going to plug in. I got a USB to Ethernet adapter here, because these um, are actually, my bad, this has Ethernet. I'm sorry, a lot of these laptops don't have that. Anyway, I won't need that. So I'm just going to plug in my Ethernet to the Ethernet port. Give it a second to go here. Okay, upon I'm going to hit next. And it's going to check for updates. 
I keep waiting for Microsoft to fix this when it's doing these updates here to allow you not to do this little trick I'm going to do here in a second. I don't know what I was on. The last one I just did didn't have an Ethernet port. It had Wi-Fi, so I had to use my trusty little adapter. <sighs> I apologize for the sniffing, guys. Sorry. Doing my best. We just had snow again the other day. Finally, it's gone. Here in northern Michigan. Things coming your way, it says. I know that's hard to see, guys, but hopefully you can see it, though. Let's see if I can zoom up here. And it's going to reboot again here. I want it up nice and close. So you can see what I do here. And we're gonna, actually I'm gonna, I think I can skip this for now. Just wanna get to the Microsoft account portion of this. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to enter any information from my Microsoft account or set one up just yet. I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to give me an error there. Now I'm going to pull out, I'm going to unplug my Ethernet so I don't no longer have internet. I'm going to click on the back button here. And right here, I'm just going to enter a username. That's it. We're done. I'm going to click next. No password. Set that up. We're setting this up without a Microsoft account just by simply doing that little trick I just did. It's worked every time. I've been doing it since day one, basically. I just kind of figured it out. And I've noticed some other people online have noticed it and put up videos on how to do that as well, so. But if you want to set up a Microsoft account, you certainly can once you get in Windows. I just don't like the fact that Microsoft forced you to do that, to use your new computer. But then again, you know, I say everybody, everything else requires an account. If you got an Android phone, an iPhone, a Chromebook, tablets, iPads, you have to set up an account to use that device. So I get that part of it, but still, you're gonna, Microsoft's gonna start doing this with Windows 11 Pro as well. And the, what is it, the 20, 22H2 when it comes out later this year, Windows 11 Pro. Gonna get this into Windows real quick and check the status. But yeah, otherwise, you know, it's a pretty nice little upgrade. That's all fidgety today. Come on, almost there. All right, boom, we got Windows 11. So let's just real quickly open up Mr. Task Manager here. Go to my Performance tab here. And then you can see we got eight gigabytes of 2666 memory. Good there. Uh, 
And if we go over here to this PC, there's our one terabyte Samsung M.2 SSD. So yeah, now we just got to get all the updates and some other things, put a couple browsers on here, and then we should be good to go. So that's all I got on this one, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe and like. I'd appreciate it. Try out that little trick I did there with setting up Windows 11 if you ever get a chance. Um, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.